Today we're going to read a story called You Will Be My Friend. This is the front cover of the book, and here is the title, You Will Be My Friend. Down at the bottom, there is only one name, so it's probably the person who wrote the words, Peter Brown. He may have also done the pictures. We don't know yet. Let's just take a look at this fantasy story, a made-up story. What do you think the story is about? What do you think the bear wants to do? Let's look at the few of the pictures here. Here is the title page, You Will Be My Friend. And then the story begins. Mom, I've decided I'm going to make a new friend today. Do you think the bear will make new friends today? Now, I'm going to read fluently, which means I'm going to read quickly but not too fast, and that my voice is going to go up and down with the flow of the story. You will be my friend. Mom! Mom! Lucy was very excited when she woke up. Mom! I've decided I'm going to make a new friend today. Isn't that exciting? This is exciting, Lucille. But how do you plan on finding a new friend? Mom, the voice is crawling with fun critters. Surely one of them will want to be my friend. This is going to be great. So Lucy went outside to begin her, her search. Good luck, Lucille. Bye, Mom. I cannot wait to make a new friend. We're going to do cartwheels and have picnics and climb trees and go swimming and have a dance party. Lucy's search got off to a great start when a nice critter invited her to play. Oh, yes, I'd love to join you. Woohoo! <laughs> but things didn't work out. Oh, well, there are plenty of other critters in the story. Forest. It didn't take long for Lucy to find another friendly looking animal. I'll just go up and introduce myself. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to climb into your breakfast. That friendship didn't work out either. Lucy did her best to win over the forest animals. She was helpful. Don't you worry. We'll get that nasty smell out. She asked a lot of questions. So tell me, what's it like to fly? And she tried to fit in with everyone she met. But Lucy was starting to feel ridiculous. She came close to making friends a few times. Thanks for inviting me for lunch. But something always went wrong. Sorry, I ate your house. Lucy couldn't believe how hard it was to make a new friend. She was ready to be friends with anyone. Well, almost anyone. Squeak, 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 squeak. Come back here and have fun with me. That's when things got ugly. You won't get any snacks unless you start liking me right now. You will be my friend. I can wait. 
Lucy tried to calm herself down. <sighs> Take a deep breath, Lucy. <sighs> you can do this. You can make a new friend. Just be yourself. Doesn't anybody want to be my friend? This is hopeless. It looked as if Lucy would never find a new friend. Then a funny thing happened. Squaw? Squaw? Squawkity squaw! Oh my gosh, are you asking me to be your friend? Squawk! I accept! And that's the story of how these two friends found each other. The end.